everyone in the world. Here's the uh, How you guys doing? Good. <laughs> How did you guys start? Uh, I started out because my grand grandpa always had a guitar at like family get together, so I learned from him. But I remember being excited for the music program in high school, and then right when I got there is when they canceled it. So like I was like, cool, they have guitar there. Like I was ready to do it, and then they cut it for my year. Um, my dad bought the musicians. Find people that are better than you and, and don't be afraid to play in front of them and just yeah. learn as much as you can from people like that. Yeah. We still do that to this day playing with such a tour and enjoy tonight and try not to get too cold and just Mike. I'm Tony. And we are Pierce the Veil. Pierce the Veil. Sort of. I saw The Hobbit. I didn't know that it was only like part of the story, so I was really mad when it didn't end. It just like they just stop I was like <laughs> yeah I grew up watching my my grandfather he always played guitar so when I was a little kid I'd see him playing like at the family gatherings like Christmas and stuff like that and I just thought it was cool like, I want to be able to do what he's doing so that's where I picked it up from to a pregnant fan he goes uh, who's got the baby in the oven I'm Tony and uh, we want to wish you happy happy holidays Don't see what is me tell her every
Up. Doing great. What's going on? Oh, shows are great. Yeah. The weather not not so fun, but <laughs> uh, second, we second? did Warp Tour 08, yeah. so we've been to all these places before, so we kind of knew what to expect, but it's still pretty. Yeah. So pretty so intense since weather. The, the, yeah. Um, you know, just newer bands coming out and just kids. Um, I mean, we've always we always want to try and do a collab with like Johnny Craig. We were trying to get one done on our, our, our record that just came out, but didn't happen so hopefully we can try and do something you know while we're out like yeah some with him just so uh today i didn't sign anything that weird actually no, i no signed a, a lightsaber before though a lightsaber yeah. uh, a couple a couple boobies here and there you never know <laughs> yeah, there's always those. pop out from here and there at times <laughs> um i'd say uh what's your what's been your favorite baby wipes we recently got this uh like a solar shower just like a bag filled up with water with like a little hose off uh -huh. it that thing's amazing because yeah. I don't know. It's nice to be able to take a shower every day, even if it is just like rinsing yeah. off outside. Yeah. Like, yeah. Did you guys have that in 08 too? No. We didn't How have long that. did you guys go without taking showers? Uh, I mean, you can try and get a shower every night, but usually you have to wait like every couple of days, just because like the lines for showers are insane, and like when you're doing press signings, like you don't end up having any time to like get over there, and then yeah, you know. that's when you go to. The What's been your favorite part so far? You know, as far as the tour this year. Uh, I think. Any, uh, any crazy gifts you've gotten from fans? Oh, man. We have a, a large collection of bras our and home. panties that are hanging up. Do you save them in the, in the tour bus? We, uh, we just decided, let's it's just let's It's like a shrine. Them. Yeah. That's pretty cool. much a shrine right now. It's a That's collection. Cool. And our back lounge is actually a shrine back there, too. It's awesome. Do you, I mean, I know as far as like for writing music and everything. Oh, yeah, like that. yeah the, the record that we just put out, that was like the huge inspiration for everything. It was like we'd been touring so much, we wanted to make a song, like make songs that are going to be fun to play live, and we we're influenced by all the bands we've been around, our fans, our friends. Like, you know, we wanted to write something that's going to like, you know, complement all the things that we're actually going to do with it. So. All right, well, thank you for your time, guys. You guys want to say anything to the fans? Can you throw a nag? Um, new record's out. It's called Selfish Machines. In stores now, and uh, come out to the shows. We love yeah. you. Appreciate the time. just because there's their structure is so different from normal songs yeah. and they don't really try and conform to anything like that they just kind of yeah. do what they want and it works that way too
come out pretty late. Just I tend to try and keep the party going as long as I can, which is not always good, but <laughs> uh, I base it off how good he can write a song and that dude can come up with things that I could never think of. And, uh, he's just an amazing songwriter, really intelligent. I wanna give that one to Jaime, but because he has all these random talents, he like has he's really good at yo-yo for some reason. I guess he was, he was sponsored when he was younger, like by Omega and does yo-yo tricks. He's also a really good recording engineer. He's also I don't know. He's just got a bunch of hidden talents. Oh he's into magic too. So very talented. And he does that thing with his hair that takes talent. He'll sleep all day. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, usually he says it's because he's, he's trying to rest his voice, but yeah, he'll do it until like 2 or 3 o'clock half the time. He goes behind me. He tries to say he's showering all the time, but it's a lie. He's a dirty boy. He's, he washes himself good. He, he wears flip flops with jeans and just. I don't know.
song was pretty good. It was a cool show this year. It wasn't too bad, but uh, it was a weird kind of venue, though. I remember being stuck in the parking lot super late last night because none of the buses could get out because the setup was all sketchy. Not a lot's really changed. Like, we've even though we only done it two years in a row before this, it was everything's just secret showers. Like, if you know where those are, then then you're good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it was awesome up. writing this record. It was. It was a lot different because we started using more influences from Jaime and I's background. We had more of a hardcore band background, so there's a little bit of stuff that's heavier. There's even some songs that are tuned all the way down to B and things like that, just to change things up a little bit. So it was great. Together. That's crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, worked out. We'll be looking uh, for a new music. Vic is wasted. It's only 9 a.m. It's wasted. <laughs> Hammer. Hammer drunk right now. He's out all night drinking Kool Aid. These are the most awkward things a band has to do. Playing. Isn't it fun getting through a song and then no one claps? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Done with performance, moving on to the first hangout scene. And Vic's supposed to come into the shot and explain his plan to rob the bank. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, so I'm in your band, I'm going to see you guys play. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah. Yeah. So happy. Like, I decided to just come here right now. Um, band started with me and my brother. Uh, like, I joined us. Uh, we've been playing in bands together since we're in the band. Like, it's literally the source. Like, we're, you know, the root of the problem before things kind of build up over time. And that's what here's the band. We have a little break after this. Or here's the video. Here's the video for you. Self machines, pick it up, it's yours. Alright, that's it. Sweet.